Once more, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul faced off before their press conference on Sunday. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish. And there was none of the camaraderie that existed between them when their bout was rescheduled due to Mike Tyson's ulcer attack on an aircraft. <laughs> Additionally, following therapy in the start of mild training sessions, the, the previous unchallenged heavyweight champion of the world is cleared to compete in November. This time, they started out with a face-off that would make fans nostalgic for the kind of intimidating stare-downs that the world's toughest man used to deliver to his rivals back in the day. The person who smiled the last time wasn't Mike Tyson, rather. It was someone who had experienced suffering and was eager to overcome the challenge that lay ahead of him. Knock this old man the fuck out. The confrontation between the two was unforgettable and iconic. A pair of combatants with a combined age of 85 years. Iron Mike Tyson is the only boxer with more experience and accomplishments than his opponent, who has only fought in 11 professional fights, most of which were against older boxers and crossover fighters from mixed martial arts or bare knuckle fighting. The when it comes to motivation, Mike Tyson has an extraordinary drive to disprove his doubters, but Jake Paul is undoubtedly more driven. Mike Tyson demonstrated something incredible during the face-off. Disruptor. Taking on the baddest. Not only is he now prepared and fit, but his eyes were burning with the love he once had for the game. Fans could travel back 30 years to a time when this man was the most dangerous boxer in the world thanks to his charisma and stance. Someone who wins battles before the bell sounds and whose quickness, skill, and punch power make his opponents shudder at his feet. You in here, but that's a federal crime, Brian. Mike, there are a number of people who also say, Jake Paul also appeared prepared. The fact that he actually appeared larger than Iron Mike Tyson gives the fans constant chills. He recently defeated Mike Perry by knockout, and he doesn't appear to be backing down. I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is depending on it, because it will be. Not only did his confidence double from when they first squared off in May, but his boxing seemed so much more polished, and most importantly, the fight demonstrated that the two fighters were going in separate paths. Frankly, you are too old to be fighting a guy who's 28. Iron Mike Tyson has accomplished everything in the sport and is simply taking a leisurely stroll, in contrast to Jake Paul, who says he is focused on winning a world championship and is approaching the best days of his career. Well, I'm beautiful. However, Jake Paul used a smaller one from the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship to prime himself for the larger mic, and he's hoping to finish the bigger mic too, buoyed by that triumph. Nevertheless, after Jake Paul's victory over Mike Perry by six-round knockout in November, Mike Tyson has issued a terrifying warning to the YouTuber. Iron Mike's medical scare in May forced the boxing contest, which was originally scheduled to include Tyson and Paul, to be rescheduled for November. Despite this, the 57-year-old is dedicated to Paul and reminded his far younger opponent of how quickly their altercation was approaching in a threatening post to X. He wrote on X 118 days, minus 16 weeks and 6 days, 17 weekends, 2,832 hours, 169,920 minutes, and 10 million million 120 minutes, and 10 million 195,200 seconds. This is when the clock starts. Utilize a hashtag for Tyson Paul, use hashtags for Jake's wake and the clock that is stuck. In addition, Tyson shared a video of himself staring at Paul on TV in silence before the latter defeated former UFC fighter Perry. The biggest advantage Jake Paul has against Mike Tyson, who is older than twice as old as Jake Paul, is his age. Jake Paul warmed up before his fight with Mike Tyson on November 15th. On Saturday night at the Amelie Arena in Tampa, Florida, by defeating Mike Perry in six rounds. When Perry stopped Paul in the first round with a broad, cuffing right hand, it appeared as though Paul was headed for an early night against the man who has created a reputation for himself as a bare-knuckle fighter. But Perry got back up quickly and attempted to crowd Paul into the corner. But Paul made a right hand and a hook before missing an uppercut at the conclusion. In round two, Paul successfully took Perry out for the second time with a solid jab, with a straight right hand into the chest. Perry, however, brimming with toughness but lacking in boxing prowess, continued to stalk forward. 
In fact, Perry started to walk Paul down in the third, attempting to hit leaping left hooks while Paul ducked under a jab. But in the fourth, Perry lost his balance due to a wonderfully timed Paul hook and jab, which sent him tumbling against the ropes. Paul kept jabbing at him, and then another jab knocked him down again. At the bell, Perry stumbled again after a Paul hook. Paul concentrated on his jab in the fifth round, taking the stiff-legged Perry's head off with a snap of his legs and landing a crisp hook with his right hand. The sixth was the final one. Perry was knocked down into the ropes by a Paul hook. Perry was hit once more by a left hook and a flurry of blows, and he was knocked down for the third time that evening in the corner. The referee dismissed his attempt to stand up. Paul commented, man, he's tough as nails, adding that he had been feeling under the weather and had carried an injured knuckle entering the competition. Sorry, it was so lengthy. Although I knocked him out in the opening round, he made it through. It's you, Mike Tyson. Perry told Paul, I was trying to roll with the punches and hit your ass back, you performed admirably. You moved far too quickly for me and I was unable to keep up. The decisive and brutal victory makes a matchup with Mike Tyson possible. Paul reiterated that November 15th is the scheduled fight date with Tyson. Paul declared, and I'm going to get another KO and prove everyone wrong once more everyone claimed that I was foolish for entering this fight and that I was taking a risk, but I'm here for that reason. I take a lot of chances, I dialed that number. And anyone may do it anywhere. At any moment, Paul stated before the fight against Perry that a defeat would prevent him from facing Tyson on November 15th in a heavyweight match that Netflix will broadcast. When Tyson's ulcer flared up on May 26th, the fight with Tyson had to be rescheduled, and Paul agreed to fight Perry at cruiserweight. Paul responded to a question on Friday about whether fighting Perry would compromise the Tyson match. Do big events Mike Tyson called worried that his biggest fight of the career would be put in jeopardy by this fight? Furthermore, Paul's abilities certainly cannot be questioned. He's clearly got the strength, and he wants to be a world champion, but he needs to pass the Mike Tyson test first. When the initial press conference was scheduled to occur after the highly anticipated bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, which ended at people believed there was a clear winner. Remarkably, even Paul, who has always exuded confidence, acknowledged his nervousness and weakness on Monday at the Apollo Theater in New York. Paul remarked, I know it's going to be tough fighting against Tyson. I am aware that I will have to overcome hardship. I might even go to the canvas, I know that. Don't get me wrong, I'm afraid, but not because I'm afraid you will stop me. It all comes down to going in spite of my fear. I'm into it. And that's the essence of real bravery. Estimating me and I think my hits are more forceful.